Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check out the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Joshua chapter 12. But before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Joshua chapter 12. These are the kings east of the Jordan River who had been killed by the Israelites and whose land was taken. Their territory extended from the Arnon Gorge to Mount Hermon and included all the land east of the Jordan Valley. King Sion of the Amorites who lived in Heshbon was defeated. His kingdom included Ar on the edge of Arnon Gorge and extended from the middle of Arnon Gorge to the Jabbok River, which serves as a border for the Amorites. This territory included the southern half of the territory of Galilee. Sion had controlled the Jordan Valley and regions to the east from as far north as the Sea of Galilee to as far south as the Dead Sea, including the road to Beth Jeshmoth and southward to the slope of Pishka. King Og of Bashan, the last of the Raphites, lived at Ashtaroth and Edri. He ruled a territory stretching from Mount Hernan to Salaka in the north and to all of Bashan in the east, westward to the borders of the kingdom of Geshur and Makkah. This territory included the northern half of Galilee as far as the boundary of King Sion of Heshbon. Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the Israelites had destroyed the people of King Sion and King Og, and Moses gave their land as a possession to the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The following is a list of the kings that Joshua and the Israelite armies defeated on the west side of the Jordan, from Baal-Gad in the valley of Lebanon to Mount Halak, which leads up to Seir. Joshua gave this land to the tribes of Israel as their possession, including the hill country, the western foothills, the Jordan Valley, the mountain slopes, the Judean wilderness, and the Negev. The people who lived in this region were Hittites, Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. These are the kings of these are the kings Israel defeated: the king of Jericho, the king of Ai near Bethel. The king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashish, the king of Eglon, the king of Gezer, the king of Deber, the king of Jeder, the king of Horma, the king of Arad, the king of Libna, the king of Adulam, the king of Magda, the king of Bethel, the king of Tapa, the king of Hefer, the king of Aphek, the king of Lashron, the king of Madon, the king of Hazar, the king of Shimron, Marion, the king of Ashpha, the king of Nanak, the king of Megiddo, the king of Kadesh, the king of Jonium in Caramel, the king of Dor in the town of Nephordor, the king of Gaiom in Gilgal, the king of Tez Tereza, and all 31 kings were defeated. Amen. So what did you think of Joshua chapter 12? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know what your insights or interpretations were on the chapter. Maybe comment your favorite verse or just say hi and let us know that you're a part of the community. And if you've been blessed lately, let us know so that we can rejoice with you. And if you need prayer, make sure you're putting that in the comments too so we can pray together as a community. One of my favorite things, reading all the names. <laughs> um, but outside of that, I think it's important to remember all the places and the people and the things that we have conquered by the grace of God. So I wrote said, remember to reflect on what has been conquered by the grace of God. So one of the important things that God wants us to do is to reflect upon his promises. So when God gives us a promise or an assignment, and once we have completed that assignment and that promise has been fulfilled, once we 
um, experience battle and that battle has been won. God wants us to reflect on those victories and praise him for it. He wants us to make sure that we know that these are the things that God has done for us. And so sometimes reading all these names gets irritating because I don't know how to pronounce them, but I think it's important just to remember all the places and the things that God has conquered, not just over our lives, but in general. So that's why it's important that we share those victories with each other. So that's my interpretation of Joshua chapter 12. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence, and have a great rest of your day. I love you.